I'm ready. I'm ready to get this party started. We got a great collection of comics for you guys. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In fact, we're gonna start off with our first one. She's a regular on the, on the New York comedy scene. I'm always running into her in the clubs and everybody loves her. Please welcome Miss Chewy May. <laughs> People. Hey, okay, let's go do that. Let's keep it for my Tinder profile. That's gonna be good, right? Does this show that I'm looking for commitment or is this show looking for fucking, right? It's gonna be my account right here. Um, single ladies, where are ya? No, okay, so I am single, so the sadness is all for me, that's great. And uh, I'm single for a, a bad reason. I got dumped, uh, thank you, and, right? Like, she is younger than me, but a better person than me. <laughs> Cause like her goal in life is to be a documentary filmmaker, showcasing social justice around the world, trying to make the world a better place. And my goal in life is to make me queefing my gynecologist funny again. Like we're different people, like that is why she had to leave me. And it's weird though, cause like I, I, do, I do think that I was like in love with her. Like I feel like I was really in love with her, but I feel like my love for her is like America's love for diet sodas. Like we love them because they're good for us until we find out that they're filled with carcinogens and talk shit. Like that is not good, uh, right? Oh, I was told that I should open up with that I'm a lesbian. I, should, I was told I should open up with that. Uh -huh. Like that was an actual note I got after a set one time. I got off the stage and a lady came up to me and she was like, Chewy, you should open up that you're a lesbian or else it's very confusing for us. <laughs> I was like, yes, because my Air Force Ones and free hoodie don't give it away, right? And they're like, she's talking about eating pussy. Is that an oriental dish we don't know about? I don't know. Is that night? <laughs> nice. It's really good though. Any lesbians here? Okay. Um, <laughs> sadness for me all around. It's gonna be great times. It's also weird for me right now too, because I uh, I quit drinking, um, which is I know is as entertaining as hearing as I have a stamp collection, but uh, I did quit drinking. It's also weird to say, because like I know I don't look like a problem drinker, right? Like the the drinking I look like I do is that I look like I drink Mountain Dew as my mom makes these spring rolls, but like I had a drinking problem before. <laughs> like for people that can drink responsibly and have a good time, all have the exact same story. They're like, yeah, we got so drunk, we had this party, we blacked out, had sex with a bunch of strangers. But for me, it's like, yeah, I got so drunk, I blacked out, I wound up at a BDSM club, got thrown out for being rude. Like that has <laughs> happened to me before. And not only that, I don't think I'm confident enough to be a good drunk. Because good drunks are extremely confident people. They're, <laughs> right? They're all like, yeah, I don't remember what I did last night, I'm sure you're something awesome. But for me, it's like, yeah, I don't remember what I did last night. I hope I didn't get naked and show me my inner demons. Like that is my <laughs> issue with that. It's good though, it's good. <laughs> it's good being single, I guess, right? Happy married people. Uh, and I also think like it hurt, uh, the breakup hurt me more because uh, she's my first nice person I dated. Because before I dated horrible people. <laughs> And like, this is an actual text I got from ex of mine, and the text said, Chewy only fucked you and dated you because I felt sorry for you because you're stupid and ugly. Right? That's so messed up. I reply back, like, oh my God, babe, what are you doing fucking stupid, ugly people for? You should really raise your standards. Um, I'm doing great, my puss makes me feel like a philanthropist, right? That is, that's how I want people to feel like after they fuck me. I want people to feel like I'm a good person, I fucked her. I'm like, yes you are, high five. That's a good job right there. <laughs> It's good jobs, right? Because pity sex is the best sex because it's all about making you feel better. That's how I feel about that. It's good times for me. It's gonna be great. I don't know. Dating is weird. Like the dating rules and like the responsibilities. Because like, I, uh, after a date one time, I was walking a girl to the train station and she said to me, Chewie, you should walk on the outside of the street so that you could claim me as your own and protect me. And I was like, wow, this has protection to you, <laughs> right? <laughs> like if you called 911 and they sent over this to your house, you'd be like, yeah, um, my computer is fine, but the burglar's in the house somewhere still. Um, <laughs> do you wanna come inside and eat cookies before we die? Like, I don't know what's gonna be going on, right? 
All right, who here is still single? Oh, the men's, all right. Maybe I shall try that instead. <laughs> That's how you get your lesbian daughter to not be lesbian anymore. Have her date horrible people. Okay, <laughs> that was a bad thing to end on. All right, thank you guys so much for time. And it's Shane May, have a good night, everyone. Keep it going for Chewy May.